Right, hello and welcome to today's video and as you can see by the title it is not a full wash tackle today. We have got this brand new inbox ISC ASCO W288 Eco washing machine. Um, I collected this from Facebook Marketplace for 100 quid. Um, the guy brought it a few years ago, this uh, delivery sticker is 2013. So the guy brought it several years ago um, to go in his kitchen when he was renovating his house, although his miss decided that she wanted a built-in one. So uh, they never fitted this, ended up in a storage container, and they sold it yesterday. So as it's a brand new box, we're going to unwrap it today, and we're going to have a look inside the lid and back, um, and the next videos of it will be for wash cycles. So let's get into it. On the top we've got the um, packing straps from the uh, clear polythene and the polystyrene, and the machine is sat on a wooden pallet, which you can just see at the bottom. I'll spin the machine round and have a look at the back before I take it out. So this machine has the option for hot and cold feed. You can change that in the settings if it's on a extra hot inlet. The um, machine runs from a standard three pin plug and the waste hose is there as well. We've got three transit bolts, one at the top you can just see there, and the other two will be opposing sides. Let's unwrap it then. Best way to do this. Uh, so. I'll take the back packaging off in a minute. So let's have a look at the front and see what's going on. So we have our soap tray under the fascia here. We've got six little indentations where you press it to release it. Much like a hot point innocent jaw. We've got pre-wash at the back. Uh, we have main wash here, main wash liquids, and we have conditioner at the back. We've got our on-off button on the far left, the program selector dial with the screen here. These are the buttons to vary the spin, temperature and time if you want to delay. This seven button is to add rinses, up to seven rinses. You've got rinse hold, you've got uh, something or other, I can't remember what will say. I looked at it, you've got super rinse, uh, super wash even, and we've got a two hour soak, I think. I'm not sure the book did say I looked at it last night, um, but it was very late. And we've got a start, stop and the door open button on the far right side of the fascia. Model is W288 Eco. I couldn't find a lot about this model online, so I said only looking on the manual uh, to see what sort of fascia the machine would have. And then round the back. For the sake of completeness, away with that polystyrene. We've got two inlet hoses. These are like plasticky material, um, probably so they don't kink. They're quite annoying. Um, we've got little brass fittings on the end, which are quite nice. Probably replaces with normal hoses. Waste hose comes out the top. Uh, so the two transit bolts. There's one at the side. Don't think you can see that because the fat is in the way. And another one just there. Book is there. It's fat. Probably said that wrong. Um, We've got instructions in all sorts of languages, except English probably. Have a look at those in a minute. Right, I will take the hose off. I'll probably see if I've got a spanner to these transit bolts. We can do them here and now. Um, a 
attention. Remove the transit support. See installation instructions. Yep, we'll do that. Right, on our spanner and see what we can do. Right, so I've taken out the three transit bolts. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to get it off this pallet away from the plasticky wrapping um, and we can take the lid off, have a look inside before we power it on. See you in a sec. So I thought it made more sense to take the back off before I spin the machine around. So let's have a look. So we have a stainless steel outer drum. We have a thin bearing cross piece, which has the bearing on. We've got a solid pulley, which is quite thin actually. Um, we have one heating element there. I think it's just got my one, it's a domestic uh, setup. Motor. Got some insulation on the sides. We've got four suspension legs that hold the drum up. And we have the drain pump at the front of the washing machine, just a standard Ascol domestic drain pump, really. We've got a hot and cold valve under there. Drain hose roots up the side of the washing machine. Um, sounds good. Uh, belt is stamped Esco cylinder. As you can see there. So yeah, I'll spin, get that in off actually, undo those screws and have a look in there. So inside the lid then we've got the mains wire coming in here at the back. We've got a mains filter, the wires go around to the control boards. We've got a brace which goes front to back um, and a brace that goes side to side, which doesn't really do a great deal because it's very thin. On this cross member, we've got the pressure switch mounted on there, and we've also got a pressure switch which is on the um, front board as well. We have got a little diagram for where all the connections go for service monkeys on the control board, and a sheet with resistances, accessing service menu, which we go into later. Um, and that's about it really. Don't know why they put that by the jaw, but it's gonna get covered in steam and degrade. Great panning. Soap jaw housing. Um, you can see there's that's a soap box there. We've got the three hoses from the three valves going there. We've got a dual cold valve and we've got a single hot. And we have a steam vent from the drum to the dispenser box housing there. Not a lot in there really, it's quite simple. Got two springs which go front to back as well, but they're hot point to stop it going too far back. Nice. Bit of play in it, not too much. Right, I'll put the lid back on and we can power on. Right, so I've turned it on, as you probably saw in that last time lapse, and it's come up with English, so this is probably the time to start looking at the manual to set it all up. What we'll do today, we'll have a look at the programs, options and cycles the machine has got and then another video I will do all the service modes, how to change menus, access service mode and parameters, things like that. So in this manual pack, which I just unwrapped off camera because I didn't think to do it, we've got this little plastic key thing. This is an emergency door release. If we slide the drum that way, there's a little slot I'll show you in a minute where you can manually press that down and it releases the door. Energy rating sticker. So I'm showing this now. Um, uh, let's just look at setting this up. Sourcing your laundry, transport language selection four. Turn on that, washer door, general, installation. I went to page four and there's nothing on here. Great. First, you'll be prompted to select a language. Turn the display, press the door button to save the setting.
English. All right, I press start. Right, so it's defaulted to program four. So programs are, we've got auto. Let's see what the cycle description is on this. This program automatically adjusts the length of the main wash and the number of rinses to the amount and type of laundry loaded in the machine. So it will sense how dirty, what, what, what you're washing and adjust the spin automatically. Two, time program. Um, this program adjusts itself to the specified time frame or finish time. When using this program, it's important to select a temperature uh, suited to how sore the laundry is. Spin can be changed freely. It's only 1600, I thought it was an 1800 RPM. Mm. I wonder if you can change that. Yep, yeah, you can change the wash time. Cut it right down to 30 minutes. Up to three hours. Three is heavy. Program for heavily soiled laundry with dirt that needs to be fully dissolved for the main wash. A pre-wash is used to do this. The machine adapts the program time and water consumption to the load size. That will go up to 90. Oh, it's cold. Four is normal. Program for normal to heavy soil laundry for whites and colours. Pretty self explanatory. I like how you can have a 60 on that. No, oh, you go higher than that as well. Normal 90. Can't change the wash time though. Oh, that's a big delay though. 90. Uh. Yeah, delay start. Five is colours and white. Uh, standard program for lightly to moderately saw laundry. Um, again, goes up to 60. Mm, go away. Quite high on that. Quick, impressive. Instead of a 1600 spin, I think you can reduce the temperature and it will cut the time down a bit. Yeah, can't cut it down anymore. So 25 is your quickest wash. Easy care, still 1200 spin. Like it. That's as high as you're getting on that. Can you need to go 60? Yes, you can. That's as high as you can go on that. Eight is synthetics. Can we go any higher than that? Nope. But you can have a synthetic 60. We've got wool, hand wash, 30 degrees. Probably get 40 on that. Yeah, not much higher than that. Spins, 800. 10 is rinse and spin. 11 is spin and 12 is drain only. All fairly self explanatory. Let's go through the options then. So, this seven button is. Well, let's go first. We've, we've gone through these. We've got temperature selection, spin selection. Yes, we can have 1800. I was right. It is an 1800 machine, but it defaults to 1600. That's quite cool. And so, we've got delay start on this. Other other third plus minus switch. So, right, next. Seven, super rinse. Um, use the super rinse option if you want to increase the number of rinses. The maximum number of rinses is seven and the number of rinses varies depending on the selected program. High water level. Use high water level if a garment laundry label shows this symbol. High water it means that additional water is used during the main wash and the rinse cycles. Well, that's quite good then. Anti crease. This means the drum will rotate for three seconds per two minute per minute for two hours once the wash program is finished. This feature prevents garments from lying in the same position and gets increased if you are unable to remove them immediately. One of the things you can change with this machine is if you want the door to pop open at the end of the wash automatically, which I thought was quite cool. So I'll probably enable that. Superwash. Superwash can be selected to better dissolve difficult stains and heavy soiling on clothing. This option adds a cold pre-wash and the wash time in cold water is extended by approximately six minutes. The main wash time is also extended. Two hour. Two hour pre-soak. If the washing is stained with blood, for example, we recommend a pre-soak. The washing will soak in cold water for two hours before the program starts. 
but then we've got the start stop key and the door release key. It doesn't want to open the door. There we go. Yes, it does. Let's have a look in the door. Well, let's do that door release again then. It's a bit delayed. Door only opens about 100 degrees to the front of the washing machine. Um, well, the door glass isn't too deep, so it won't get in the way. While we're here, we've got ASCO type WM70.2, model W288, uh, 230 volts, one phase, 2200 watts, 2.2 kilowatts, 50 hertz, 10 amps. Uh, we've got their art number, serial number, made in Sweden. We have a, you can't see this, plastic door catch on the door and a pin to go into the door lock as well. It's a two stage lock. Um, thin rubber door gasket, no rubber boot on these to increase drum capacity. Now the drum is a 60 litre drum. Let's put this in comparison to my Electrolux. The drum on this is rated to be an 8 kilo. The drum on my Electrolux, which is 50, all, all my Electroluxes are 55 litres, they are rated at 6 kilos. Generally, we say about 10 to 12 litres per kilo. So really, this is only a true six. The drum is not that big. Um, the Speed Queen that I've got is about 110 litres, and that is rated at 10 kilos. So that is definitely a true 10 kilos. You would struggle to get a duvet in that. That means that though it is a generous sized drum, the lifters aren't too deep. Um, obviously, you get the extra drum volume because you've got a thin profile glass and seal. Um, so it's not too bad. As I was saying about the emergency door release, let me close that. You can, no you can't. It's awkward to do with a camera in the way. You can just see this little slot in here. If we put that in there and go up like that and it'll flick the door open as you saw like that. So I'll make a separate video on that because that's quite useful if you don't know how to do that in a power of failure. That's about it really, just a single skin door few cobwebs but apart from that and it is a plastic door uh, open the door then it's plastic thin and light but it feels solid enough for now let's have a look at the bottom and at the bottom of the washing machine we've got the little access door to the filter and emergency drain no one has any water in this after being stood for seven years. I'm gonna get this hose off. Stand by for technical difficulties. Hose is off. Is there any water in there? And nothing coming out of that. Nothing in there, just a bit of. I don't know what that is, but it's worth you being rinsed. Uh, obviously, water that's gone off in the pump chamber over the years. And there is our pump impeller at the back of the housing. Wait for the mission, the best behind there, but oh well, no one sees it. And then that little hose goes on that stub on the filter door. Right, I'll wash this filter up and put it back together. See you in a sec. So before we have one last look at the books for wrapping the end of the video up, I noticed the machine's gone into an, like an eco power save mode. It's dimmed the display. I expect we can hit a button and it comes back to life like that. That's quite smart. Let's have a look at these books. So this is the instruction manual, operating instructions, washing machine, ISE W288 Eco. Dear ISE customer, welcome to the family of ISE customers. We hope you have many years of use from your new washing machine. The machine has many features to make the most of its in most of its functions. We recommend you read the operating instructions before using the machine. And now you can help protect the environment if you want to be like that. Contents. Have a quick glance at that. I'll move this up down. And I'm going to stand to the side, be easier. Before using your machine for the first time, check in water hardness. Safety instructions. Don't put kids and cats in it. Child safety. Always keep an eye on children. Yep. General life advice. That. Child safety catch, um, insert a child safe control on it. Description of the washing machine, uh, again, fairly self explanatory. 
or compartment for the detergent tray. Device on washing, laundry symbols, device for tips and washing. Hot water intake if you want to use that. Device for washing. So these are our programs. I just went through these when we were reading them out one by one on the display. Um, so you select the program with the rotary dial on the left hand side. Oh, me. We have a program chart um, which will give you all of the maximum capacity, spin speeds, durations, things like that. You can get 1800 spin on most of the cycles actually including the quick wash which I think is quite good. I do like that feature. Washing them, we've got the option buttons again, went through these as we we're doing them one by one. Continue, delay, start, pre so super rinse, super wash, increase, blah, blah, blah. How to start the cycle, press the start button. So these are the little settings that we can change. Um, and the use manual say test tells you how to do this. I said I'll do a separate video on this when the machine is in. So these following settings we can change. We've got child safe. Um, you can activate the child safe start option to prevent children from starting the machine. Right, if you want to do that. Door opening, you can set the machine to open the door automatically once the cycle is finished. You get these dishwashers now that will pop the door open at the end of the wash and it will vent all the steam out. And that's basically the same thing for this. Just pop the door at the end of the cycle so it doesn't go musty if you can leave the washing in there. I think we'll do that. It's quite a nice little feature that nothing else that I've got has. Language, I probably won't be changing that. I failed my Spanish GCSE um, and I don't really know any other languages. Temperature, you can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit units. Extra rinses, you can increase rinses for up to five on some programs. Well, I don't think I'm going to adjust that. So you can have seven rinses if you use this seven rinse button. Um, but again, that's all quite excessive. And you can change if you have it on hot water. Um, yeah. Care and cleaning, cleaning the little fluff filter at the bottom. We had a look at that. Cleaning the soap chamber. Um, which I'll have a look at actually. I don't know if I showed this, it's probably like the hot point ones where it slides out. Um, no, I just lift up like that. Mm. Smart, but that's a lot of plastic in it. Um, and you can remove this blue thing somehow. Oh, there's little tabs on the side, hold it under. So we've got our you can see it a bit clearer without that blue thing in the way. You've got main wash powder, pre-wash, main wash liquid with a siphon like the Electrolux and a softener with a siphon at the back. I was just about to say the quality of this machine feels all right. I fitted a lot of these um, Badge primus in commercial environments, and they're not designed for a commercial environment. Um, I was going to say the quality feels all right, but that's just gone like that, so I'm going to retract that for the time being. I have to look into that. Let's have a look at this book again. That tray still won't open, so problems are ready. Brilliant. Right, moving on. Shovel shooting, care and cleaning. You can remove the lifter bars if you get things like shirt collars stuck underneath. I'm sure I read in the book for another asker you could just remove the lifter bars if you want to use it as a gentle washing machine. I thought it would seem mad to me. I'm going to see if I can find that again. I think it's bookmarked on my old laptop. Um, if you live in a high water area, you can clean the drum with a lime scale removing agent if it starts to go like that. Uh, troubleshooting wash door will not open. That's how to open the emergency, the door in an emergency. There's a little quality bit of plastic. Machine will not start. Every check is turned on. More troubleshooting error messages, overfilling, drainage error, water in that. What to do? Um, pretty straightforward, really. We've got a note about imbalance. Um, thing won't spin because it's too unbalanced. Technical information then. Max spin speed eighteen hundred. Not a lot of useful information on there for us. 
So it does tell you here the jump volume is 60 litres, so I didn't just make that up. It definitely is underrated for an 8 kilo capacity machine, or more 8 kilo cotton. Transport protection then, just a note about removing the two bolts, uh, three bolts, sorry. These are the bolts here in my hand, where's one? Position the washing machine, making sure the drain hose is at the right height. Electrical connections. Four contacts and service division, got quote and model numbers and serial numbers. Your notes, I guess you can write down the serial there. And a quick guide on how to do your washing if you're that unsure. Oh, apparently, ISA. Extra. Um, English. The time shown on the display when a program starts is the time that program last took. So it's like the Electrolux, it recalibrates after each wash. Program time will vary from one wash to the next depending on how much washing is loaded in the machine. Obviously temperature, that can also be an effect on it. Um, how hot the water coming in is. Um, and it's not a fault basically, they're just telling you that. Because people probably wondered why it was recalibrating itself after washes. Um, so we've got the energy rating sticker. A plus plus plus. That's as high as it goes. Yeah, that's as high as it goes. Nonsense. And then we've got oh, this little bit of paper which I took out inside the washing. It's only going to get steam damage. There's all the wiring connections. Is there an internal fuse? Oh, you know, you were saying killing the machines. Um, now to access the service menus, I've got a list of the parameters on the laptop. Um, and again, I'll do a video on that. Right, so that is the end of that video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to have to figure out how to get this cheap soapbox open again now that it's locked itself shut. Um, but as I said, the next videos will be full cycles of the machine. Uh, I look forward to giving it a few goes. I will change that parameter for doing the door release at the cycle, end of cycle. So that's quite cool. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.